Evening, folks. Brian here, Geomagnetic Earth Watch, Thursday, January 8, 2026. This is a space weather report. It's going to be something a little bit different. Uh, first, starting off, we've got two backside uh, explosions in the sun. Uh, the first one is a full halo CME. That one there. Then the bottom southeast quadrant, partial halo CME. One, cell, two. But that's not what I want to get into. What I want to get into is an earth-facing solar flare. Now it's only a uh, peak at a C5. However, as I've stated before, a long duration, lower level flare can have more of an impact than a higher uh, value flare, shorter duration. So this flare started at approximately 1615, 1620 UTC. Of a double peak flare. So let's take it to the end of this one till approximately uh, 2120. So this is a five hour duration flare. Even if we take the first peak, that's a three hour duration flare right here. So once again, a longer duration, lower level flare can have more of an impact than a higher duration or a higher uh, flare level, shorter duration. So let's go take a look, see what this uh, produced. Now they haven't assigned the region yet. It would be okay. It's not going to be this one. It's going to be this one four three three six. So here, so there will be an Earth-directed component from a coronal mass ejection. Not listed on NOAA yet. But NASA is showing it. So this see me launched from the sun. This has a, earth, a direct earth facing uh, coronal mass ejection. The timing here matches up to that C5 flare. So this information is relatively new. It will be adjusted. If you want to give me a minute, let's see if we can figure out uh, time of impact day and time. Take a look at our <coughs> coronal holes. So our flare region, excuse me, is right here, right below this very, very small, insignificant coronal hole opening. I wouldn't even mention it, except for it's the exact same region. Relax. So it is assumed at this time that this is our flare region. So Earth is aligned just south of the equator region of the ecliptic. Now, I don't get into the exaggeration and fear porn on uh, solar activity like other people, but we should just pay attention to this area. So this will be Earth facing. Uh, direct, well, it is now, but directly Earth facing another 24 to uh, 30 hours. Uh, so the fact that it produced a long duration flare, uh, we should be uh, paying attention to this one.
Uh, so once again, longer duration flare has uh, a smaller longer duration flare can have more of an impact than the shorter duration larger flare. So we're looking at about three hour duration here at the first flare, the C5. So according to the initial modeling, uh, please remember it's plus or minus six to seven hours. The day side impact is going to be the Fiji, New Caledonia, Solomons region. And then progressing over uh, Northern Australia into the Indian Ocean, Timor Sea, Indian Ocean. And again, uh, and that is for the 11th at 0, 100 UTC. So either on the 10th, just before midnight or shortly afterwards, we will adjust that timing in uh, two days from now. Okay, folks, that is all.